speed it up. He walked twice as fast as that. No. This is, I think, even more quickly than the old man walked in the courtroom. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Oh, it isn't. He walks slow. If you think I should go faster, I will. Speed it up a little. down the stairs and assumed it was the boy. I think that's possible. <laughs> assumed? Now, everyone, listen to me. I've seen all kinds of dishonesty in my day, but this little display takes the cake. What dishonesty? Tell him. You come in here with your heart bleeding all over the floor about slums and injustice, and you make up these wild stories. You've got a couple of soft-hearted liberals listening to you. Well, I'm not. I'm sick of it all. What's the matter with you people? This boy is guilty. He's got to burn. We're letting him slip through our fingers. Our fingers? Are you his executioner? I'm one of them. Perhaps you'd like to pull the switch. This good for nothing, you bet I'd like to pull the switch. I'm sorry for you. Don't start with oh, me. No, one of us steal it to want to put a man to death. Shut up. You're a saint. Shut up. You want to see this boy die? I'm down. That's my personal. Tell me the facts. Guys, come on. You disgust me. Shut up. What? You don't really mean you'll kill me, do you? I'm going to kill you, and only have the authority of this woman to prove that it might not really mean he's going to kill. Look, why don't we just take it into the court and let the kid try his chances with 12 other guys? Well, 6 to 6. I don't think we'll ever agree on anything. It's got to be unanimous, and we're never going to convince him. At first, I was alone. Now, five others agree. There's a doubt. You can't ever convince me there's a doubt, because I know there isn't no doubt. I tell you what, maybe we are a hung jury. It happens. We're not going to be a hung jury. 
but we are, right now, a perfect balance. Right. Let's take it to the judge. If there is reasonable doubt, I don't see it. The doubt is there, in my mind. Maybe we should try another vote. What do you mean, vote? Not again. I want to know. Vote on what? Are we or aren't we a hung jury? You mean we vote yes, we are a hung jury, or no, we're not a hung jury? It's just what I was thinking. Let's make it a majority vote. The majority wins. If seven or more of us vote yes, then we take it to the judge and say we are a hung jury. Right. And if seven or more vote no, then we aren't a hung jury, and we go on discussing it. It doesn't seem quite right to me. It's the only solution. Yeah, I agree. It's the only way. Anything to end this. Has everyone agreed, then? Seven or more vote yes, and we take it to the judge? Okay. Right. <coughs> I vote yes. We are a hung jury. Two? No. Three? Yes. Four? Yes. Five? No. Six? No. Seven? Yeah. Eight? No. Nine? No. Ten? Yes. Eleven? No. Twelve? Yes. Oh, no. Six to six. We can't even get a majority to decide whether or not we're a hung jury. I went along with the majority voting spot. I didn't agree with voting that. Not really, and I still don't. So I'm changing my vote. I say, no, we are not a hung jury. God. I still believe, believe the boy is guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. So there are some things I'd like to find out from those who change their minds. And we aren't a hung jury. So we go on. Good. We go on. Why did you him up? Well, he, he just seems so sure. And he has made a number of good points. While she only gets mad and insults everybody. Does the anger and insult change the guilt of the boy? He did do it. Are you going to change your vote because one of the jurors gets angry? Well, that's true. Well, there is reasonable doubt. I don't I mean, think so. The track is straightened from the window. Let's take that point. So the L train would have made a low rumbling noise. The L train screeched from the girl on the curbs. So the old man could have heard a scream, which is very high pitched. And it is a project, and they have thin walls. Good, that's it. And the old man might have been wrong in the time it took him to get to the door, but right about when we saw running down the stairs. Please remember that the fingerprints were wiped away, and it is summer, so gloves seem very unlikely. I want you to listen to this lady. She's got the good. It may have taken a few seconds to get a handkerchief out and wipe the fingerprints away. This is a valid point. Why don't we time this one, just to see? And what are we going to time? Yes, please, let's be exact. I'm saying the old man may have been wrong in the time it took him to get to the door, but right about when we saw running down the stairs. Now, it may have taken the murder about 39 seconds to go down the stairs to the place where the old man saw him. The boy, that is. That's right. Well, we reconstructed the old man getting out of bed and going to the door, and we timed that. Now let's reconstruct the actual killing. As well as we can reconstruct it. I, uh, I think a murderer could use up to 30 or 40 seconds pretty easily at that let's point. Let's reconstruct the killing. Here. You do the stabbing. No, I'll do it. <clears throat> Why don't you be the one who gets stabbed? You're younger than me, and don't forget, it takes one second to fall. He fell inside, his right side. So fall and roll onto your right side. If someone hates another person enough to kill them, don't you think the murderer would look at his victim for a second or two? Divorce yourself from this particular case? Just human nature. It seems reasonable. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. He falls and ends up on his right side, father did. But stabbing someone isn't like shooting him, even when it's right in the heart. He would have worked around for a few seconds, lying on the floor, riding maybe, that's quite possible. There would have been enough oxygen in a system to carry him for two or three seconds. Wouldn't the father have cried out? Maybe the boy held his mouth. That also seems possible. Also, there's another point we might want to bring out. Anyone who is clear enough mentally to wipe the fingerprints away after murdering someone, well, that's what it's also clear enough mentally to look around the apartment, or the room in this case, to see if there are any other clues. It would just be for a second or two, I should think. One would still look around. This gets better and better. We're trying to make it clear. One doesn't talk about quality, the murder is involved. Well, let's do this. Well, about this on the fingerprints. Well, the knife isn't the only thing that the kid wiped the fingerprints off of. But what about the doorknob? Right. If I saw a man come in my home, a man that hated me, and if he wiped the doorknobs as he came in, it would give me an uneasy feeling. So this must have been done after the killing, and it too would have taken some time. <coughs> You time the last one. You time this one too. All right. Sam, you're broken. You want me to stop. I want the hand to be at 60. 